Troubling. It was troubling, anxious, gut-wrenching. Twelve years ago, terrorists attacked the U.S., killing almost 3,000 people. Good afternoon, everyone. It was the worst terrorist attack in U.S. history. From New York City to Washington, D.C. to Shanksville, Pennsylvania, people are remembering those who lost their lives. News Channel 5's Terrence Lee shows us how we are remembering here in Northeast Ohio. Bells are rung, wreaths laid, and doves released on the Berea Triangle to honor all the victims killed and the first responders who lost their lives to save others on this day 12 years ago. You become a father or a parent and you realize what those men sacrificed. Among those paying tribute, Berea Fire Captain William Eisenhart, a father of three. His children, born years after 9-11, still they know quite a bit about the somber day. They know about bad guys destroying our buildings and, and all the people that were lost. So, like, like Pearl Harbor that you and I studied, I hope that future generations remember that and, and this. A few miles away at Hopkins Airport, things came to a pause. There was a moment of silence at 8.46, the exact time the first plane struck the Twin Towers. Uh, I think all of us have memories of that day. I, I think it's safe to say it changed all of our lives. Officers with the TSA, Cleveland Public Safety, and others took part in the ceremony. Singing the national anthem before going on about the rest of their day. Terrence Lee, News Channel 5.